Hello everyone, this is just a quick video to uh, look at solving um, a problem which a lot of people have which is finding a pool of water um, behind the seats here um, after leaving the car out in the rain. Now there are a number of places where water can leak into the car, obviously being a soft top it's not the most uh, watertight of designs. One of the places is here um, where this little rubber join is. Um, when this gets a bit old, um, obviously it doesn't seal very well. As you can see, even this, which is a brand new soft top, there's still a gap there where water can get in. So what you can do with that is you can put some uh, Vaseline or um, grease of some sort in this gap here. Um, just make sure it's rubber friendly and that should help with that problem. But in actual fact, one of the main issues um, is really where the water drains off the back of the roof. So if you imagine when it's raining, what's going to happen is all the water is going to drain down and it's going to go into this little gap here around the back. Now under here there is a thing called a rain rail which is basically like a plastic um, kind of V shaped um, thing which goes all the way around and that collects the water and it channels it inside the car and it ends up going down this little gap here and if you look in the corner there you can see there's a hole here so basically the water channels down through this rain rail ends up in this little holding area here and then drains down this hole in the bottom there now as you can see it's quite a large hole um, and quite commonly what happens is over time stuff falls down there and gets trapped um, and then it blocks up and then what happens is when it rains all of this fills up with water and it then overflows and ends up down here um, or it also goes into the sills of the car in here um, and that's how you end up with rusty sills which is a very very common problem so basically what you need to do periodically is clear out the hole and make sure that anything that's got traps in there is um, pushed out so that water can just flow down there now it's not just a straight hole um, about halfway down there is a flap which um, is basically designed to stop road noise coming back up the hole when you're driving um, but of course that means that it's a good place for stuff to get lodged. So, in order to combat this, what you need to do is periodically clear out the drains, um, which is fairly easy, um, but you're going to need um, a bit of a specialist tool to do it. So you need to get yourself one of these. This is a trombone cleaner. You can get it on the internet pretty easily. Um, what it is basically is a little brush, like a pipe cleaner, um, and then a long length of wire. Um, the one that I bought actually had a brush at both ends, um, but what you're going to want to do if that's the case is just snip off the brush on one of the ends so that you've just got this empty cable. Um, and then essentially what you do is you take the cable end and you feed it down into the hole um, and you keep going until you reach the flap um, and you'll notice when it gives a bit of resistance that you've got to the flap. Um, and then you need to kind of work it past the flap, it can be a bit difficult, but you'll get through eventually. Um, and then what will happen is it will pop out the bottom of the car. Um, and then you get under the car um, and you pull from the other end and give it a bit of a kind of a sort of pulling and pushing motion just to kind of allow this um, kind of brush thing just to scrape up and down the tube and remove any dirt and debris. Um, and then you pull it all the way through until the brush comes out the other end. And if you needed any confirmation as to why you should be doing this regularly, here is what I found in one of my drain holes. This is a random nut which must have just fallen down the hole at some point and got lodged against the flap. And as you can see it's quite rusty so it's clearly been there for quite a while and that would have been blocking the drain hole and stopping the water going out properly. So there you go, that's why you should be cleaning your drain holes regularly and if you do that should solve one of the main reasons why you'll find water in the back of the footwell here.